morning. It's 7 a.m. It's Saturday, March 21st, I guess. I got up before Danielle because I'm going to make her a blanket fort. And I know all you guys out there are like, oh, he's building a blanket fort. Well, happy wife, happy life. And your girl wants you to build her a blanket fort. So we're going to build one and I'm going to show you how I do it. There's many different ways to build a blanket fort. I'm going to use the way my mom taught me, and that's with the kitchen table chairs. Stay tuned. There is no science to a blanket fort. Everyone is different. I'm going to try to use the back of the recliner and maybe the love seat rocker. I'm going to make the opening towards the TV, so that way if we decide to have a drive-in movie, we can do that. I think I'm going to have some breakfast. I'm thinking about making some pancakes. I might just toast some cinnamon raisin toast because it's a lot easier than pancakes. We'll see how the blanket fort goes. So. Some of you guys may be tempted to go buy a little tent, put that up with some blankets and pillows inside, but that's not a blanket fort. It's a tent with blankets and pillows inside. You gotta build the blanket for it. So far I've been building this pre-coffee. My engineering skills haven't been great. Got my coffee, and now we're gonna rock. Definitely not high enough. Just realized the table chairs that my mom used when she taught me were the old high back kitchen table chairs. These ones aren't, so they're not working so well. I've built blanket forts here before but I don't remember how I've done it. I feel like I suspended something from the ceiling. Once you get the most of it up, get some smaller blankets and fill in these little gaps, like here. <coughs> the darker your fort is, the more cozy it seems to be. We need some more blankets. So, found this pole in the garage, lifts it up just enough, got my coffee. I'm debating about putting on my Mary Children Marathon and just sitting here, but we're not done yet. Now for the fun part. Grab as many blankets and pillows as you can and fill it up. I purposely leave it a mess because when she gets up, her OCD will not allow her to leave the blankets like this. Her natural instincts to nest will kick in and she will organize the blankets the way she wants them because I'm a man and no matter how I do it, it won't be right. Since I drank all the coffee, I've got to make more. We French press. It's the only way to drink coffee. I am using Bisquick because I don't want to make them from scratch. We're not at that point yet with this apocalypse. Coffee is almost ready for Danielle. I'm gonna put it in my Outer Banks coffee mug because we're supposed to be in the Outer Banks right now. We didn't. Obviously, we're home blanking blanket boards. For some reason, I'm not very good at making breakfast. I always screw up the first two pancakes. So they're kind of um, already garbage as far as I'm concerned. That's why I make extra. No respectful Adirondack person would eat pancakes without maple syrup. Burn my third pancake. Not very good at breakfast. I am outside at the grill, just not in the house. Needs more pillows. Needs more pillows. Stand by. I told you her natural nesting instincts would kick in and she would fix it mm -hmm. because I'm a man and can't do it right. <laughs> you got your coffee? I have my coffee. See, happy wife, happy life. Don't pick on me for building my wife a blanket fort. That's what they want. See how happy she looks? <laughs> Finally got one pancake to look good. If I can just replicate that, we'll have a good meal.
two pancakes decent. not working because you talk bad about it. I planted the seed. Oh shoot. <laughs> and no, this is not my VCR collection. This is my DVD collection. Trapped in the house with Danielle. Maple syrup pancakes and a blanket fork. French press coffee. And married with children. I don't know how life could be any better. <laughs> Some married with children trivia for you. That right there is the family truckster from National Lampoon's movies. It's the same footage. And now you're all a bunch wiser today. See, I brought you some value. Piper likes the blanket fort too. You like the blanket fort, Piper? So does Charlie. So thanks for watching my blanket fort instructional video. Don't forget, it's not just for making your wife happy. It'll make your kids happy too. It'll give them something to do during quarantine and hopefully they'll pass on their blanket fort knowledge down to their kids. So if you like our video, subscribe to our channel and enjoy your time. Bye.